Today I found a new AI tool which is totally free. It offers you free image to video generator and text to image model like Flex AI, image to image and lot more. The best thing about this tool is that you do not even need to sign up an account. And don't worry, there will be no watermark on the outputs. So I'm very excited to share this with you. Let's check it. First of all, to access it, go to the Google search bar and type Google VR AI. Click on the first search result and you will land on their homepage. As you can see, we do not have any sign up button or pricing option here. It's just a simple, clean and minimal interface website. Right here, you will find the AI images, AI video, Lux editor and many other AI tool. We will explore each tool one by one and in the end, we will see either we will use these tool outputs in our workflows or not. Click on the first text to image option. As you hover it, a drop down menu appear with several type of image generator. Each one is designed for specific style and purpose. If you want to use it, try it out. Now I just want to generate random image by a prompt. So click on it and here you give any prompt like photograph of a bearded man with glasses, wearing a jacket, standing on a vibrant neon lit Asian street at night. And we will use their quality model. And by clicking here, we choose our aspect ratio 16 by 9. After doing all settings, hit on generate. It takes some seconds for generating the output. All right, it generated the image and you see it. It only generate one image and the image is looking very detailed and cinematic. If we talk about the prompt, yes, it followed the prompt correctly and generate the high quality output. If you notice, there is a minor stylization. The stylization can be removed through context editor. Overall, the picture is good. We will not see any deformed hands and fingers and click on that icon to download it. Here are the more decent outputs generated from the text to image. Next is the image to image feature. Here we upload any source image as a guide. I upload the Lububo doll image. By clicking here, it generates the description of the image and below is the sliders. How the source image impact the output. Increase or decrease the scale value. If you increase the control strength, it will generate the result similar to the input image. And hit the generate button. This is our final output and results are looking very close to the source image. So let's move on to the image to video feature. Here again, you have option to upload your source image which you want to animate. I use this image for generating the video. And if you look on a side, you have option to give the video prompt. For example, I give prompt, a man is driving the car. The car is moving forward. Or you can also left the prompt section empty. And below, you can choose your video format, video length and video frame rate. And boom, all right, it generates our output. The man motions are looking smooth and natural. It exactly follow the prompt and the car moving location is forward. The quality is compromised. Overall, it's a decent video. Again, change the image and now at this time, I give prompt. She is giving kiss from mouth and hit the generate. Okay, this time it generate much better output than the before. The movement looks so natural. Stylization is removed and the quality is much improved. And her kiss felt real and sweet. And the last we have a good tool context editor where we do image editing. Here you have a no limits to use flux context. I do image editing and see if it's work good or not. I upload photo of a fashion girl and give prompt to dad. Replace the shoe to fedora hat and below down choose your aspect ratio and see the magic. It perfectly replaces the shoe from head to fedora head keeping all the image details same. It works same to same as we do in playground. I have made a detailed tutorial on flux context how you can use it for image editing. Click on the i button and watch the complete video. So this was the go through of this AI tool. In some cases it performs really well but some of the outputs are not impressive. But this is free and require not any account so I think this is a good option for the free users. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.